Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you stopping by. You got here just in time. That's right, just in time to explore Lake Wister State Park, Oklahoma. Of course, you knew that from the, the title up there. I'm currently camped in the Victor Camping Loop. Sun is coming up. I know that's bright. This is actually the boat ramp. <laughs> Never seen a boat ramp quite like this before. I guess you could say it's a two-laner. I don't know. The lake is just gorgeous. Really love the, the mountains. I think those are the stair step mountains, something like that. Wow. So we're gonna spend the day, or I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the day exploring Worcester Lake State Park. I'm gonna if you want, you can come along with me. And we're going to start right here at Victor, in the Victor Loop, up there. We're going to go see some stuff, some Worcester Lake State Park stuff. So Worcester Lake State Park actually has four camping loops, one below the dam, one on the lake side of the dam, one kind of off the lake, and then five miles from the dam there's Victor Landing, which it's kind of an end of the road campground. The, the park is, it's really interesting the way it's laid out. Uh, as with a number of other state parks outside of Texas that I've visited, it's not just one big park, it's scattered across the lake. So we're gonna explore each one of these campgrounds and the other points of interest in this video. And then Thursday or Wednesday, and this coming Wednesday, I'll provide a tour of all the campgrounds, the virtual tour, but on Little Red. So here in the Victor campground, they are well prepared for groups. Right now I'm in the, the group pavilion. This is actually the Henry Heflin Pavilion, and there is no tobacco use at any time. The big cooking grill, water, right next to the play structure. So if you got some kiddos coming along, that's a good one too. There's a volleyball court. There's actually horseshoes over here as well. Three horseshoe pits, or maybe four. Got those cool swings you can go real high and jump off of. It's not recommended. You could hurt yourself and end up walking around like I do with a, with a, a limp. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So here at Victor Landing, the Oklahoma State Park System has graciously installed some new facilities. And of course, we got to check out the handicap shower. They are, a lot of echo. So these are literally brand new. They, they still smell like paint. I don't know when they were installed, but very nice, very clean. The camp hosts are doing a great job. And of course you can see they've got mini split air conditioners. So if you need a disabled shower, they got you covered. Let's go see some more stuff. The dump station has a, a lot to be desired. Make sure you're bringing your cradle with you. The one thing that we're, we're not real happy about is this, it's really, really tight. Especially right here where we're set up. 
Site number 29. So that is that direction is west. So the sun sets over there. It's kind of <laughs> it's part gravel and part cement. The the cement pad is super level. And we could have, I'm not completely on the pad, but Yappy was really worried about tree branches, although we were clearing the trees. So we're 50, 30 on the pedestal, and then water. We have a charcoal cooker and a fire pit, and we actually have two tables. I don't think we'll be using two tables, but we have two. And the, we're in a burn ban, so the the fire pit is is off limits. Gets out of the sun here. So this this is the pedestal for our neighbors. <laughs> As you can see, we're cozy. I'm gonna grab a bite of breakfast. I'm gonna eat a breakfast bagel. Deploy a little red. And we'll go see some stuff. Worcester Lake is an impound on the Poutier, Poutier, on the Poto River. That's how you pronounce it. I thought, what better a place to start our tour looking at the river below the dam. Pretty little waterfall there. It's actually a pretty nice campground here. Let's just cruise over and take a look. You don't know what you don't know. Knowing what I know now, I think that uh, I would prefer the campsites here over the ones that I have. And as you can see by that car, that, that motorhome there, Trudy would fit in here pretty good. Let's go see where the water comes out of the dam. Smells like a waterfall. Cause it is! <laughs> Apparently they have uh, they don't want you jumping into the, the outflow here. So there's not really any way to get down there without doing a little rock scramble, which, which I'm not gonna do. So they've actually got a place where you can sit on a bench and wait for the catfish. So they have a pretty extensive little park down here. Worcester Lake State Park has a lot of structures that make me think that perhaps the CCC was part of the construction. This is the Glen Pavilion. And it, and it has that Civilian Conservation Corps feel about it. It's pretty cool. Lots of beautiful tent camping sites here on the peninsula. Well, you can look at that oak tree and see how, how wilted it is. That's because there's, it's so dry. It's because of the drought. All right, let's go see some more stuff. We've got some music, so we got to make it quick. Headed down to the fishing dock here at the Quarry Island Campground. Ooh, that's squeaky ass. That's a loud break. So this is for fishing only. Well, the, the lake is Lake is low. You can see the structure, the, the tree branches or the, the trees that have been thrown in the water. 
All right. Let's go see some more stuff. I'm not sure if it's all year round or just during certain times of the year, but those are dinosaur uh, Christmas lights. And I don't. I, I think Christmas light is the wrong term. They, those are light up dinosaur silhouettes. Yeah. That's, a, that's what we'll call it, light up dinosaur silhouettes. I'm not camping over here, so I don't know if those light up every night or at certain times. Now, now this is kind of something I've not ever really seen before, but I have seen before. It's just a different version of a playground structure. You spin around in circles on that. I guess that spins around too. Yeah. What does that one do? This is a spin around. Got some cool swings, perfect for swinging high and jumping out. All right. I'm done playing. Let's go back to work. Well, because it's not dark and there's no lights on, and even if they were on, I wouldn't be able to really tell for sure because it's dark what i'm trying to say is that looks like this big tall thing back here that's a light structure and there's a light structure here so i'm kind of thinking that may be the american flag and the big thing back there is the statue of liberty don't know for a fact. If you come out here on a regular basis to Worcester Lake State Park and you know what that is, I'd appreciate you posting in the comments below so that we will know. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Boat ramp fans will be glad to know that there is a usable boat ramp here. Let's go over here to the, to the top of the hill. There's no fishing within 150 feet of this here boat ramp. All right, you've been warned. 150 feet. I'm not entirely certain of this, so don't quote me on this. But I think this is the beach. I think that's where your, your designated, is there such a thing at Worcester Lake State Park, a designated swimming area? I'm thinking so because there's a parking lot and life jackets. But the, the water level's really low. Make sure you wear your swim shoes because it's really rocky. All right, let's go see some more stuff. You know, winter's not too far away when the snowbirds start flying. Those are Canadian pelicans in Oklahoma. Headed south for warmer weather. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you're interested in visiting Worcester Lake State Park and you don't have an RV and you don't want to sleep in a tent, well, they have cabins. Not, not shelters, cabins. And the gas tells me they have gas heat. Look at this. <laughs> How is that for a, bad, a patio? They have a charcoal cooker, tables, Adirondack chairs, and a stellar view. Yeah, all right, let's go see some more stuff as the air conditioner kicks on. If you're in need of full connection RV sites and you plan on visiting Worcester Lake State Park, then uh, the peninsula is going to be your location. And those are the full connection RV sites. They actually have a really great view. And while we're here, there's a dump station. But of course, it, if you have full connections, you don't need the dump station. Just saying. All right. We're done, we're done at this part. Let's go somewhere else and see some more stuff. So during the summer, if you're coming to visit Worcester State Park, 
The kiddos will be glad to know that there is a splash park. So you don't have to go get in the lake. You just come over here and play in the spray. <laughs> Dudettes and dudes, how about that? <laughs> All right, let's go see some more stuff. Camping at Worcester Lake State Park. You're not without stuff to do. If you get tired of being in the lake, being on the lake, fishing in the lake, if you get tired of lake stuff and you just need something else to do, well, how about a round of miniature golf or two? Looks pretty fun. And while mom and dad are playing miniature golf, the kiddos can play on the rock climbing structure. That's just down from the big cabin loop. Worcester Lake State Park. We are at the observation point. It's about as high as we can get and see the lake. You gotta be careful, the wall is collapsing. Man, I don't know if, if how well the the skyline is going to come out on the video but man this is just awesome travel i guess it's west maybe north anyway i've, I've traveled a couple of miles from our last location and i'm on the uh, a tent camping loop worcester ridge tent camping area this caught my attention this check out this handicap site this is perfect. I don't, know, I don't know how I could get much better for a, a handicapped tent camping site. What really irritates me is that there's a burn ban in place. The forest is tender box dry. Uh, the, the oak trees are wilting, they're so dry, and someone has left a fire burning. And I don't even know where to get water. I'll see if I can get some water and put it out. You never know. If you see something, say something. So I called the park office and, and reported, because there were, there were a couple of campfires burning at the, the tent camping loop. So I called the park office and, and reported. And the worst part about it, there was nobody there. You know, if, if there's somebody standing there making sure that that fire is safe, that's one thing. But to, to walk off and leave a fire burning at any time, but especially when the forest is as dry as it is right now. Oh, that just chaps my butt. That did, that's a danger to me. <laughs> that's a danger to mother nature and it's a danger to me and my family. If you see something, say something. Okay, I'll quit ranting. This is the Lake Worcester State Park's healthy trail, heart healthy trail. We're gonna deploy Little Red, and we're gonna, this will be a standalone video. It'll be later on. I'm not sure exactly when you'll see it, but you'll see it. I'm at Ward's Landing, which is, on my way to the Victor area. Uh, this is up, kind of up on top of the Worcester Ridge. We got bathroom, showers, really cool play structure. I like the campsites. Uh, a lot of these, most of them are back ends, but there are some that they're not exactly pull throughs, they're kind of like just along the side of the road. Over on this side. But you get a great front porch. Only thing is they're not very level. So right across the road from Ward's Landing, that's Ward's Landing right up there. Right across the road is the big boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, and there's actually a courtesy dock 
that's sitting high and dry because the lake levels are so low. And once again, I, I saw another campfire burning in Ward's Landing. People have no common sense. All right, let's go see some more stuff. All right. Oh, look at that catfish. It's a catfish? Yeah, it's a catfish. That's a good one. We got him. We got, we got him. him. We got the ginormous catfish. Okay, do they have jaws? Oh my gosh. That's a good one there. I don't even know how I'm going to get it out. Fish, you're biting. It's yeah. a catfish. It's a okay. So that's probably what we had earlier. Yeah. That 10 pound. I think you could probably hold it like this by the gills. How heavy is he? He makes sounds. Oh, uh oh. Maybe we could just get You want to hold it and get your no. picture? No. No? Sure? <laughs> okay. It'll be on YouTube anyway. Yeah, you got it? I got it. Thanks. It will? It will. We could awesome. see her. That was just too pretty to drive by without letting you see it. How gorgeous. That's the reason you should come to Worcester State Park right there. Everybody's always asking me, what is the best site? What are the best sites? I wish you'd tell me what the best site is. Well, in, in my personal opinion, 52, or 53, 52, but most specifically, and it's probably not going to be around for very much longer because of erosion. But that is 51. So that, and that, in my opinion, those are the two best here in the Victor area. Now, coming in a strong second place. Second position, third position, after those two, we move over onto this loop. And in here, I'm right there in front of us where that fifth wheel is. That would be in third position. And that is 39. There, there's the th those are my top three in this camping loop. All right, let's go see some more stuff. What an amazing sight. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is just so incredible. I think that's the winding stair mountain range. In and that's the winding stair the winding stair the mountains are in the, the Wachita Mountains. We had a storm come in last night, a line, buffetist. It was pretty, pretty heavy wind, freaked Yappy out, really bad. I said, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? We're, we're here for the duration. Man, that's incredible. We're done here. The duration is up. Uh, we were originally gonna be here for three nights, but then it, you know, the weather changed and you know me, I gotta hop to another park. So we're we're gonna pack up here and we're gonna head over to Potato Hills South, Sardis Lake. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned, hit, click the subscribe button because next Sunday we'll be exploring a campground on Sardis Lake. Mainly because we don't have much of a patio. <laughs> It's crowded. Although you can see, we we lost a lot of campers last night and this morning, and I am not complaining at all. 
this wet. I would I would salute you with a cup of coffee. Good morning. So we're done here. If you enjoyed this video, if you glean some kind of value, please click on that thumbs up. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And remember, hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I am most honored. That's why I get to come out here and see that. I mean, how cool is that? It's a beautiful morning. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?